I have a lot of things to do today. I have to go to the bank. I have to go to Target and I have to go grocery shop. And I'm going to be wearing this. Great. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. I'll go ahead and put on some eye patches. I'm going to start with my eyes today because I'm going to do a very colorful look or I'm going to attempt to recreate a colorful look. My friend Andrea gave me these eye patches. I miss her. I haven't seen her in a long time. Andrea, if you're watching this, thank you for the eye patches. I don't think I ever told you thank you and you know you know I love them. Um, and I miss you. Okay, so I'm gonna be using the Elf and J Kiss Up palette. Finally, try to open this with my nails. Dun 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 dun. This is what the palette looks like. And I'm gonna do a colorful look. I'll put a picture on the screen. I'm gonna apply the P. Louise eyeshadow base just because I really want these colors to pop like they do on the picture. I'm just gonna apply it all over my lid. Just gonna blend it away with my finger. I'm not too familiar with this eyeshadow base. Um, I've had it for a while, but I don't use it that often. I've used it a couple times, but not too often to feel comfortable with it. So I don't know what's too much or what's not enough when it comes to this. So we'll, we'll see. And I'm gonna get a small brush. I'm gonna get this ColourPop E9 brush and I'm gonna grab the yellow. Oh, I'm scared. Okay, she has it like on this part. Of I'm just gonna stamp it. See, I'm stamping it up here. By the way, um, I am recreating in this look, so I did not come up with it. I'm gonna try my best to make it look like it, but it's not a guarantee. I do want to give credit to ColourPop because that's where I got the picture from. And the artist, I, let's see if it says right here. I'll, if I can find it, I'll either put it on the description box or I'll put it here on the screen. But this is not my look. I'm not, no, no, no. Ooh, that looks really nice. Okay, now that I stamped it, I'm just gonna start like back and forth, back and forth blending. She goes halfway. I went a little bit further, but that's okay. And these shadows are blending extremely nice. Well, I mean, I just used one, but this is the first time I used a palette too. So, but I mean, so far the yellow, pretty good. She has like an orange. She has something in here, but I don't know what that is. I'm gonna, okay, I know, I know. I'm gonna use this shade right here. And I'm gonna grab that on a Morphe J. H42. It's like a tiny little packing brush and I'm just going to go with it dry. Wow. That's amazing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm just going to do the very, very inner corner right here. Like just the tiniest amount because I don't have that much lid space and we got two more colors to go. Okay, now she has a little bit of orange right here, and then she has red going out. Okay, here we go. This brush, this is Morphe JH40, and I'm going to grab the orange right here, this one. And I'm just going to stamp it right in the middle. And I am taking it a little bit up just to blend it out with the yellow. And I'm tapping most of the time. And then I'm blending. So I'm depositing the product first, then I'm blending. Then she's got a little bit of red. Well, it's actually not red. It's like more like an orange. So she has like a pink right here. But I don't have a pink, so. Okay, I'm going to... I'm gonna use another Morphe brush. This is the M506. It's a tiny little brush. Now I have two reds. I have this red and this red. 
I don't know which one I want. I think I'm going to go with this one, which is a little bit more like neon vibrant. And I'm going to apply it right. Whoa, these shadows are so pigmented. So I'm just kind of blending it into the orange very softly. I'm taking my time. Guys think <laughs> it looks nothing like what she has going on. I love it. Yeah, I think I'm okay with it. I think I'm okay with it. I'm gonna do this eye off camera and I will be right back. Okay, so I just did both the eyes. I went way far out. I added more shadow at the end of this eye so I can just clean it up. I think that'll be best. I don't know. We'll see. So I'm just going to remove my eye patches and continue with my face makeup. This is very Hot Wheels looking like. <laughs> For primer, I'm going to use the Maybelline Master Prime. This is supposed to hydrate and smooth. I normally don't use hydrating primers. But lately, my skin's been looking a little dry, especially around my chin. Um, I'm not going to put it on my forehead because I don't need a new hydration up there. And I am going to revisit a foundation. I used this foundation before and it was very, very matte and full coverage. Like it was literally another skin layer. I, I It was intense. So I have two shades. I have shade 2.3 and 1.1 neither of them i think it's my shade so i mix them both get a little bit of that i remember this foundation being very intense and i'm just going to mix them whoa look at that you see what i'm saying so i'm just going to blend oh my goodness this is so much coverage whoa it's it's scary even for me i'm gonna use the e.l.f. Hydro Camel Concealer. Come right here. And just a little bit right there. This is in the shade Light Beige. For setting powder, I'm going to use the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. This hourglass setting powder, I really like. It's not my first option, but I do like it for foundations like the Smashbox foundation that I used today. That is very thick and very matte and just very heavy. The hourglass powder is very light, so it kind of... So I'm going to grab some of that blue. I am going to take a... Wow, these shadows are so pigmented. Wow. Okay, I think that's as dark as I'm gonna go. I'm gonna use the Huda Beauty palette. This purple right here. That's It looks crazy, I know, but let me put on some lashes. Let me finish my look. Hold up. Wait a minute. So what do you guys think? Lashes or no lashes? That's the real question. Something like that. Ooh, that's pretty. By the way, I returned the Rare Beauty blush. I'm very sad. Um, I really wanted to like it, but it just, it wasn't working for me. I think it's because I use a lot of mattifying products and powder is a big step of my makeup that the formula just wasn't mixing so well with the products that I use. It could be that, or I don't know, maybe it's just a technique I was using. I don't know. I will, I'm not saying I'm giving up on them. I might purchase one in the future. Because they do have two formulas. They have the matte formula and the glowy formula. So I might pick up a glowy formula. 
but not right now. I returned it and instead I got this blush. Look at how pretty. This is the Bare Minerals Bounce and Blur and then the shade Pink Sky with this ColourPop F9. Just gonna stamp it on here. What I like the most about these blushes, these two, the MAC blush and the Bare Minerals blush is that they work great on top of powder. Here we go, I'm gonna apply my first lash. Wow, that was incredibly easy to apply, even without a liner. I'm not the best at, you know, eyeshadow, but this is really, really pretty. Um, I could have done a way better job. Yes, I need to practice, of course, you know, I'm humble. But this is so out of the box. Well, it is for me. At least it is for me because I am so basic when it comes to eyeshadow. I use the same colors. So this is a big step. By the way, today, September 30th, is Vanessa Guillen's 21st birthday. I believe she turned 21 today in heaven, unfortunately. Um, so I want to dedicate this video to her. And... Um, in her memory, I'm wearing this um, Justice for Vanessa Guillen shirt. How cute. Yes, I know. Let me show you guys the back. Okay, I think I'm done. I'm going to retouch my brows a little bit. Because, you know, they get a little bit um, messed up in the process. So. Uh, I'm using my e.l.f. Ultra Precise Brow Pencil. So good. For eyebrow gel, I'm using the NYX Control Freak. This is a really good eyebrow gel if you're on a budget or if you know you just are a smart buyer, you want to try this. This is really good. It's decent and it's affordable. I'm going to apply some of this milani keep it full nourishing lip plumper in the shade champagne but i think that's everything for today thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to vote um or register to vote check your status make sure you are registered to vote Make sure that you, if you moved in the last two years, just make sure that they have your correct address. Just make sure you are good to go for this upcoming election. We need, we need to vote Trump out. I think it causes you nothing to vote. It's your right. It is your right. Vote for your parents, for your grandparents. Vote for women. Vote for gays vote for minorities vote you know as a citizen to another citizen please vote please make sure your status of voting is up to date okay i think that's everything for today thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoy the look and i will see you guys next time bye